Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob Sanders here. Welcome to my show. Um, today I thought that it'd be pretty nice to look at some of my Star Wars stuff because, you know, I am a huge, huge fan of Star Wars and I'm just counting down the days till Episode 7 comes out. It's like a dream come true for me. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean tons of Star Wars stuff. And I just figured, you know, today I'd just kind of bring some of them out and show you. So let's get started. Jump right on in. So I've got like so many of these M&M Star Wars guys, so uh, you know, can I take some time to tell you a little bit about them? This is uh, Count Dooku from episodes 2 and 3. You know, he's got like the, the little chain with the black, uh, with the brown coat. It's, it's pretty cool. He's one of my favorite guys. Uh, next, we have the Anakin Skywalker one from episodes... Actually, I believe this one is from episode 3 where he turns to the dark side. So, you know, kind of a simpler design. It's still pretty cool, though. I like it. Let's see, next up, we have, oh, here we go. We have the classic Luke Skywalker M&M guy. You know, I guess he looks kind of scared to take on the Empire, I suppose. I don't know. But, you know, he's got, like, the classic white, uh, white clothes from the, from Tatooine, from where he wore him in Episode Four. So, you know, a nice little nostalgic look back at the original trilogy. So, let's see. Oh, yes, here we go. My main man, Darth Maul. Now, this guy. This is what made episode one right here. Everyone hates episode one for some reason. I don't know. I kind of liked it. I, I really did like episode one. It was the first one I ever saw. But, you know, we got Darth Maul right here. You know, he's like, he's the red M&M. He's got the, you know, the black tattoos. And he's got the horns. And, of course, his trademark double blade lightsaber. So that was, you know, he's pretty cool. I'm really glad to have him in my collection. Next, we have General Grievous from Episode 3. He's got like the, he's even got like the gray cape that he wears when he's not fighting. And he's got the helmet, of course, one of the coolest helmets, I believe, in Star Wars. You know, next to Boba Fett, which I don't have one of him, but you know, if I did, that'd be awesome. He's my favorite character. But you know, General Grievous, he was uh, probably, you know, one, he was definitely one of my favorite characters in Episode 3. Uh, I remember seeing so much of him on the promo stuff when it first came out, so, you know, I was kind of psyched to see him, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, next we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Jedi Master, the wise old man that teaches Luke Skywalker in the original trilogy, and trains Anakin in the prequel trilogy, so he's pretty cool to have. He's got his hood on, he's got his blue lightsaber. I believe this is the episode 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know. I guess he could be any of the original ones, so it depends on which one you like better. Alright, and last but not least, we have dun, 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 Darth Vader Eminem. Now this guy is what makes the entire Star Wars franchise, I believe. You know, every time, for the, from the first time you saw him in episode 4, where he comes through the thing, you know, that was... I mean, people were sold on Darth Vader. So this guy, I mean, he's pretty cool. I like him. Yeah. Now, another thing that I really, really love are Legos. Now, I'm 19 years old. Don't judge me. I still love Legos. It's, I'm a collector. I collect Legos, okay? But one of the coolest things ever is if you combine Legos with Star Wars, you get Lego Star Wars. That is one of my favorite things ever. So I have right here... A Lego Star Wars set. This is a, uh, you know, not necessarily one of the more popular sets, but, um, you know, it's got one of my favorite characters, Cad Bane. Now, Cad Bane was in the Clone Wars uh, TV series that started in, I think it was 2008, and uh, I immediately fell in love with the character. You know, he's kind of like the classic gunslinger guy. He's, uh, got his two little guns here and of course his trademark hat which is my favorite thing about the entire character but um in this lego set it's the senate speeder from i believe the episode was called hostage crisis and what he does is basically he and his little bounty hunter buddies here let's stand this guy up he's no slacking buddy but they basically go and try to hold a bunch of the senators hostage to try to release zero the hut from prison and you know, 
I mean, it was one of my all-time favorite episodes, and uh, this Lego set is really special to me. I don't really remember either of these two guys' names, but, you know, they're pretty cool, but, you know, Cat Bang, that's what made this Lego set for me, so, um, it's really, really cool to have it. Now it's time for my favorite part of my Star Wars collection. Da 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 da! It's a 1977 Chewbacca action figure. Now you can kind of see some of the paint on him is kind of faded off. But, um, you know, just to have this guy in your collection is amazing because this came out with the original movie in, in 1977, back when the first Star Wars came out. It was, you know, so. Coming across this, this was awesome. I gotta thank my friend uh, Lee Clamp for letting me have this from his extensive Star Wars collection, which is far better than mine, I hate to say it, but you know, Chewbacca. It's uh, pretty it, it's pretty cool to have him in my collection. Just, you know, he's so old and to have something, a piece of history from where the franchise first started, it really means a lot to me. I also do a pretty good Chewbacca impression, so you can do it. <laughs> So there you have it. It's a uh, part of my Star Wars collection. Obviously, there's a lot more, so you'll probably be seeing that, you know, in a few other videos along the road. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.